fuck up, Kurt. Good God, how's everyone? Um, you can tell this was definitely uh definitely. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and skip over to here because um we're gonna be doing a NASCAR YouTube. But how am I looking? Do I look terrible? Oh my god, I look horrific. Okay, um, my microphone absolutely pissed itself. Um, let me make sure I got all the all the stuff I need up. Okay, um, uh, okay, hey everyone, hey, it's, it's, it's incredible. incredible, it's incredible, what the hell's Kyle that? Kyle Petty thinks Mandudo 3 videos is incredible because they have donated two Canadian dollars via Super Chat. Shit Cup Revival Funds. Shit Cup Revival Funds? Well, thank you, uh, who don't, I saw that some people, <clears throat> some people, uh, did, uh, memberships during the video. Um, I find it hilarious that YouTube is picking this video up. They're like, yeah, man, everyone wants to watch this. Seriously? Really? Does anyone not understand what the video is referencing? Anyone? Does anyone not know what it's referencing? Anyone? Does anyone not know what it's from? Because I, I think it's hilarious. Showed in the VC. Well, ignore that, okay? Let's imagine you knew about it beforehand, okay, pal? 2010 video, but... Um... Oh my god, my microphone's quiet. Hang on. Okay, it shouldn't be quiet anymore. Um, let me disable this. Okay. Uh, Shay, <clears throat> thank you. If anyone doesn't know what it's from, I'm going to go ahead and show it on the screen. I did show it in the Discord, but I figured I could show it in here again. <clears throat> Alrighty, here we go. Uh, this one? There we go. All right, everyone. Uh, everyone, be quiet. I'm gonna let. I'm gonna let Shay Shay's message pop up, cause I don't want. I don't want him to interrupt this. No offense, Shay. That's incredible. Kyle Petty thinks Shay underscore Mendez is incredible because they have donated three dollars via super chat. Additional revival funds. Thank you, Shay. Thank you. All right, let's 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 watch this video. Oh, there's no sound. Oh, oops. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. He's literally me for real, for real. That's what I would do if I was upset with a NASCAR driver. There goes the monetization for this stream. Yeah, well, they do the donations don't go away. <clears throat> Hi, Rose. Um, let me go ahead and throw this uh, 
live stream link uh other places why not uh we are gonna do this tier list um um yeah but does anyone have any question <clears throat> any questions i am gonna go through um i am gonna go through and make it known who are, who are the new drivers because yes we do have some new drivers oh boy bruno battaglia just joined back oh boy he's gonna he's in for some news Oh man. I'm going to have to tell Mr. Bruno Battaglia um about how he's not in shit cup because he left the server. Wah, wah. Uh, this this is why this is why you you stay in the in the Discord server and you don't leave. So, because Bruno was only there for shit for shit cup, didn't want to be there for anyone else. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Um. Okay, uh, we do have some news, and we are going to say a rest in piss to these guys, because we do have... We do have three drivers that are not coming back, because they elected not to come back. Uh, this will be mentioned in the, fir in the first race back, of course, but I'm going to go ahead and mention their names now here. There's only three. Yeah, there's only three that are not coming back. Um. Yeah, there's only three not coming back. So let me. Uh, let's let's go to uh, let's uh, ooh, hang on. I don't want to show that. Let's show NR. There we go. Uh, let's go here. There we are. Um. So we have ourselves an official roster. Um, but you will notice that there are some drivers' names that are missing, and that is for a reason. Um. Uh. So, Mister Bart Simpson. Uh, he is no longer in the series, Mr. Bart Simpson. Uh, the reason why is because Josh asked for him to not come back, which is understandable. I'm not going to tell him not to. And then the other big uh, loss was, as you can see here, uh, the Shithouse 500 winner, AIDS Man Martin. Uh, he has hung up his, his fire suit. Um, so, uh, I think it's funny that, uh, we're going to make, we're going to make the joke that AIDS man Martin just won his race. It was like, fuck it. I'm retiring. Um, I guess I have no rides. Yeah. Cause you left, you left the discord. <laughs> it, it said that you're supposed to stay in the discord when you signed up, but you know. 
Um, and then the other person who left was Bruno Battaglia, who's just who just joined here in the chat. Uh, he was the only person that was just not in the Discord server and did not sign back up. The other two, the other two, um, elected to not come back. Bruno was the only one that just did not join back in the server and just did not sign back up. And their spots were already given away. And you're probably wondering, uh, who took those spots? So, ladies and gentlemen, we do have some new drivers. Uh, we have three new full-time drivers, and you may have saw them in the video. Uh, the first one is going to be, uh, is it Devlin Tavarius? It might be. See, I don't remember. Yes, it is, is Devlin Tavarius driving the Geico car. And then Gustavo Fring... There's Gustavo Fring. He's going to be joining as well. And the other person to be joining, full-time in Shit Cup, making his return, it's Bender M. If you watched Season 1, you'll know who Bender M is. Bender M was, the, was a driver in Season 1. He is back. He will be driving his same old paint scheme from season one and now he has a permanent spot on low tier motorsports and he will be racing the full-time season um i'm also going to make it known now that the drivers that will be racing um uh here are the two drivers that will be racing at uh fiji water which is the first race back mike coxlong will make his debut in shit cup that's right, Mike Coxlong. Uh, he is going to be racing in Shit Cup for Clable Replacement Racing. Uh, if you're wondering who made this paint scheme, I did. Let me tell you, I'm very proud of it. I think I did a really good job on it. What do you guys think? I think I did a pretty good job. What does it say on the back? I don't remember. What does it say? I can't read it. It's too... It's too Holy shit, you did this? I did do this. I made this paint scheme. Hang on, let's go, uh, let's go check to see what does that say in the back. I can't read it. Let's go do a test race real quick. No, we're not doing Bone Crusher, God. Scheme of the year? Thank you. I did not know that my paint scheme would be scheme of the year. Even though it's just it's just okay. It's okay. It took a it did take a while to make it. It did take a minute. But let's just go to Daytona. Let's go to Mr. Mike Coxlong. Okay, what does his scheme say? Let's see. What does it say on the back? Want me to return? Yeah, there we go. Lack of a center logo. That logo is centered. It's just because it's a cup. This this is centered. It just it just uh it's because it's a cup that it looks like that. Mike. Shit and cup. And then the other person who will, that, that is the one part timer for the race. And the other one is Loser Duck the 10th. Um, you haven't seen your paint scheme? Yes, yes, we have a new part time driver. His name is Fat Bitch. Here he is. This paint scheme is, uh, well, uh, it's, it's definitely a paint scheme. Uh, th this is definitely a, uh, a paint scheme. It is a paint scheme of all time. It'll be driven by Fat Bitch when he joins back, when he runs his first, uh, paint scheme or when he runs his first race. Uh, he is driving for JTG O'Neill Racing. He has a partnership with, uh, Shaquille O'Neal. He will be racing at... 
Watkins Glen alongside Zorgian 194. So there you go. And we're going to go through the drivers. These are the drivers that will be running. These are their paint schemes that they will be running all season long. Actually, let's go to race two because this only shows the part, the full time guys. So Big Man has elected to run his Taylor Swift paint scheme for the rest of the season. I did make it known that each driver had to run only one paint scheme for the remainder of the season just to cut my cost down for editing and stuff. So Big Man elected to ride with uh, Taylor Swift for the rest of the season. Uh, remember, the Taylor Swift Speedrum race is the following race, so that'll be definitely interesting to see. Then we got A.J. Walker. He'll be joining back with his Bush Beer uh, National Forest Foundation Ford Mustang. And then Jonathan Denmark with his Sniff Pest Petrol paint scheme. That Throwback to his Season 1 or uh, Season 2, Season 1, Season 2 paint scheme. Kumaru Yuki Hara. Uh, he's back with the Discord paint scheme. And then we got Dabba Jingle Snatch. Keep in mind he uh, or they replaced uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Dumb Stupid. Uh, yeah, Dumb Stupid. Colton Thompson will be running this uh, FedEx paint scheme the rest for uh, rest of his uh, time in season three. And then we got Tavarius, which we mentioned earlier, and Gustavo Fring. Recky Spinhouse will be driving the fifth third bank car, while Justin Perez will be riding the M&M's paint scheme. Anthony Tony Steve the third will be in his tro Tony's Tropical Creamy Goo paint scheme. And Dave Wilson will be sporting this Home Depot paint scheme. Uh, oh yeah, Stephen Clift, another new entry full-time. Uh, why, why is he here? Why is that? Oh, because... Um, do we have four new guys? Oh, yeah, we had four new guys. Mark Bancroft got booted. Yeah, that too. Yeah, Mark Mark Bancroft got booted too. So, Stephen Clift replaced Mark Bancroft, which is definitely a good loss. Bancroft, real. Are we picking up from last time? Yes, we are. We're starting with the Fujiwater Grand Prix. And we're going to go from there. Uh, everyone has one paint scheme just to get us off the feet. Get us off the ground. Raf Fazolin. He's back with Golden Corral, per usual. And then Ezra Bass will be sporting his tool colors. Why is this a good loss? Mark Bancroft. Oh, my Lord, Rose. Oh, my Lord. Let's just say we had an actual child. Please tell me Mike and Ike is going to run that F Mark car. I have elect I've told him not to or I'm not going to I'm not going to use it. Reason why is cuz he one he already he's a part-time he already has one paint scheme. And two, I don't I don't think it's necessary to bring up Mark. Um Uh yes, Mark did take the series seriously. Whenever everyone kept making fun of him, because of the way he drove, because Mark was kind of an aggressive guy on the track as it was. So people were like, wow, Mark, wow, why'd you do that? And then everyone, he just kind of shit his pants over it. He kind of gave in to the bait, basically. Uh, Vic Muzzin, or Muzzin, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, Femboy Hooters, this was showed on uh, LA Productions live stream. Uh... Xander Jeffrey, of course, in the STP colors. Xander was the only driver. Um, Xander did not fill out the form to return in time. However, he was, because he's in Australia, uh, the deadline was like whenever he was sleeping. So I gave him an extra 12 hours and he filled it out like immediately. So... The fan favorite, Biggest Dickus, of course, he's back. Everyone loves Big, Biggest Dickus. Um, I find it funny that the guy who uh, runs Biggest Dickus, honestly, no offense to him, he's not really the most active person in the server. But he just kind of rolls along with the fact that, lol, his name is Biggest Dickus, and he's the fan, he's the fan favorite. 
Knob Shifter's back, of course. And we got Jack and off. Uh, Wynn Nurgenson will be running the Biohaven cars the rest of the season. And Rafa Hen, the conspirator, will be running his Menards paint scheme the rest of the season. Uh, David Deeg, he'll be running this Monster Energy paint scheme with Bender M, as I mentioned earlier, returning. And Joey Strakowski running the Kanye car for the rest of the season. Saul Goodman will be running the Better Call Saul paint scheme for the rest of the season. And Noah Patnod will be running his uh, Boney, uh, Brony Enjoyer uh, black primary. With Shane Mendez running his god-awful, oh my god, uh, Stoner Mobile. Yeah, Stoner Mobile, yeah. Uh, here's Droopy Wiener. He'll be back. Uh, Bio Steel. Remember, he won at Texas. So he's back. Masturbation as well. Fornicate now racing. Piper Gunharder. He is back as well. And we got uh, Simba, the Daytona 500 champion. They are back as well. And Romilia Griffin as well. And then lastly, Chuck Sneed, the felon. By the way, if anyone noticed, I did purposely have it. So Chuck Sneed was murdering fans in that one image in the video. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, so the plan is to have one paint scheme per driver for the rest of the season. And then next season when we get everything all situated. And by the way, when next season starts, it'll be summer break. So it's perfect timing. Um, actually, this whole entire thing is perfect timing because school school ends for me in exactly, in exactly one month. So one month from now, school is over for me for the summer. And keep in mind, I'm in college, and our summer breaks are a lot fucking longer. So, yeah, they're definitely a lot longer. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take this time to answer any questions that anyone may have. Um, if anyone has any questions, I'm, gl I'm more than glad to answer any. Bro, bro didn't mention me? I didn't, men I didn't go through the part-timers, no. The part-timers are going to be a surprise. I didn't mention part timers because they're a they're a surprise. How to get into this thing? Um. So Joseph, um, you have to sign up, and for you that might be very difficult because the signups are put out at like midnight. Uh, yes, Mr. Ben Kraft, you are a part-timer. Mr. Uh, Curtis Bush himself. When YouTuber tier list? I'm gonna get to it. God. You care more about that than the chick What the fuck? God. How many races of the series are gonna be? We, it was originally planned for 12, and it will still be 12. We're just finishing the last uh, races that we did not we did not complete. So we're gonna do uh, Fuji Water up till uh, Bone Crusher. Why here if you don't care about shit cup? Because it says it in the title about the YouTuber tier list. Thoughts on the two? I don't even. Hang on, I gotta look it up. I don't get your reference. Two thousand Duralube. Is this the race that what's his name died? Caw. Oh wait. Oh oh, of course. Thank you. Yeah, just mention the one where Jeff Burton led every fucking lap. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. No, there are no playoffs. That might be next season. <laughs> We might have playoffs next season because we need to get with the times. Boston held Evers 2 and never played it. I don't even know what it is. Uh, oil money to throw around. <laughs> well, that's funny, Evan. By the way, welcome, Evan. Um, my voice is all crack cracking. No, Rose. God, I thought I thought it was gonna be an Adam Petty thing, but it wasn't. Okay, uh, do y'all want to do this NASCAR YouTuber tier list? I know I'm going to get absolutely shitted on for it, but I don't care. Um, because let's provide some context to this. Because, of course, there has to be... Why do I, why do I have 10 notifications? Oh boy, my NASCAR 15 tweet is going popular. That means there's going to be more people joining the 15 server. Oh no. Okay, so let's provide some context to this. Let's go on my Twitter. That is not my Twitter. Is that my Twitter? There we go. Uh, we got to turn this up. 
Uh, so, the other day, I decided, uh, I'd like to thank Mr., uh, Mr., um, uh, Jonathan Denmark for posting this. So, Mr. Jonathan Denmark in the Discord decided to post this funny tier list, because lol, I'm on the top. But then everyone absolutely shit themselves. One's saying that my tier list was shit. And two, that, um, this person had awful opinions. They absolutely shitted on Mr. Jonathan Denmark. And this also led to a, uh, user, uh, wishing that I would go fucking kill myself. Fuck Clable, dude. He fucking sucks. sucks. I hope he kills himself. So I posted that. And then as soon as I posted this, uh, I went ahead and tried adding this person on the Discord. Hi, Cody Anderson. How you doing? I tried adding this person on the Discord. They did not want to add me on the Discord. And so I, I went ahead and posted another screenshot. And they decided to act like um, they did nothing. They basically were in the wrong and that oh, it was my fault. And then basically just turned the turned everything on its head and basically wanted them themselves to get the attention stuff like that then after i posted this screenshot i had two people i had two fucking people from this server uh reach i'm gonna turn the chat on thank you cody anderson uh i had two people from this from this server where these screenshots were from i'm gonna turn the alert box off i don't, I don't want to get those going right now I had two people from this Discord server. What happened? Uh, this person told me to kill themselves, and then they basically acted like they were the victim. And and this is this is what happened. Okay. Um, as soon as I posted this screenshot, two people from that Discord server uh, came uh, came asking me uh, where they got the screenshots from. Not worrying about the fact that one of their members told someone else to go kill themselves. No, let's worry about the fact that we have a snitch in our server. Yeah, that's our main priority. So I told them, I basically told them to go fuck themselves. So I don't know what server it is. I actually have a very good idea what server it may be. Um, so, and I said in the Discord chat that if they elected to raid my Discord server, that I would go ahead and, you know let everyone know what server this was from and, you know, all these people that are in it. But I'm not going to do that unless, you know, they strike first. Um, I actually do... I have a couple people that know what server it is. It's, don't say... Don't guess what server it is and don't tell me what server it is. I don't want to know what server it is. It is not Michael's server because Michael would immediately get banned. This person would immediately get banned for telling someone to kill themselves. Plus, we don't have any... Uh, we don't have any things... Uh, all of our roles have logos next to it, so it's definitely not the Mertz server. Uh, I'm not going to tell you who provided me these screenshots, but basically... Um... Yeah. I'd like to thank this person for telling me to go kill myself, and then they ended up doing the thing. And I, I mentioned here, is it just a cycle in the NR community to victimize yourself after you've done something wrong, go into hiding for two days, and then reappear? Because I see this shit all the time. It's very true. If you're in any NR2003 server, you'll see this. I wanted to reach out and get an explanation via Discord. They joked around. They joked about it, and now they've turned it on its head to paint themselves as the victim. Now it's officially not even worth my time anymore. I'm dealing with someone mentally unstable. Exactly. This person is definitely mentally... And you're wondering, why am I talking to nobody? It's because this this was the person asking where they got the DMs from. And by the way, these guys in the server were losing their minds because they had a snitch. And they were more worried about having a snitch in their server than figuring out, oh, yeah, maybe we should get rid of the guy that, well, maybe we should get rid of the guy that told this person to go kill themselves. No, let's worry, let's worry about the person who's, who's snitching on our server. Yeah, yeah, let's protect the fucking idiots.
All right. My mom walked in. You see, I'm not worried about someone telling me to kill them, kill myself. It's just worrying about this person, you know. Silence. Yeah, my mom came in. She was asking what I was doing. Um. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Shay. You see where their priorities are. All right, do y'all want to go through this tier list? Um, because I might as well do the proper tier list from my own opinions. And I will be, be giving my opinions on every single person in this tier list. Um, I will be giving my negative opinions. Make people angry. I will make people angry. There are going to be people, there are probably going to be some YouTubers that will watch this and be like, wow, this guy, this guy stinks. Man, take it with a grain of salt, okay? If I don't like you, don't. It's not the end of the world if I don't like you. You should, honestly, if you have more subscribers than me, you should probably not care that I don't like you. For example, this fucking guy. We're going to put him on the bottom immediately. Uh, let's go ahead and make a new tier. The best. Um, solid. Uh, average. Um,. Uh, they, they don't, they don't hurt nobody. <laughs> um, uh, eh, and, uh, Hitler. Uh, <laughs> let's not do that. Uh, terrorist to the NASCAR community. Um, and, uh, I'm just going to put, I'm just going to put whom, because I don't know these people. Okay, let's start off with, uh, let's start off with MMCS. Uh, if nobody knows the story, I will go through it real quick. Um, so Mr. MMCS, after I'm actually, we'll show the video. So after I made the NASCAR uh, You Should Have Been Aborted Moments video, uh, he went on an absolute tirade on the Twitters. Um, well, he didn't go on a tirade. He basically, uh, I put out a tweet about, because LE Productions left a comment on the video not disliked not enough red circles and arrows in the thumbnail obviously he knows that mr mmcs is not the uh greatest of course um I, i'm sure i can find the tweet uh clayball uh ellie oh it's not gonna help anyway so ellie productions left a comment and then I, I mentioned him in a tweet. And then MMCS was like, dude, do you not have anything better to do? Or he said some he said something. And then I, I or he 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 said something in, in kind of the tone that like uh I, I forget what it was, but basically I ratioed him about it and he probably he must have it must have hurt him personally because then he and his girlfriend and someone else joined the Discord server, and they proceeded to stalk the Discord server. And then a couple of live streams later, and in the comment section, by the way, actually, let me pull this. Let me pull this up because I do have it on the. It's on the Discord. It's all in the Discord, so we can just go on the Discord, and it's all here. Um, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Here we are. So this is here. We, here we go. Here we go. Here's the tweet. I've made it. Disliked. Not enough red circles and arrows in the thumbnail. And then this was his reply. Made what? Uh, hang on, let's let's zoom in more. I I know I use small ass Twitter. Made what? A joke out of yourself? It's ironic. Then, uh, him and his girlfriend joined my Discord server, 
But before that, his girlfriend left this, uh, uh, this reply. Uh, you're just jealous because you're an overweight virgin with no friends and no prospects in life. I'll give credit where credit is due. One part of that sentence is true. Um, yeah. Then, this person, his girlfriend, kept joining my Discord streams, basically raiding them and telling me that you're a loser, you're a virgin, blah, 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 blah stuff like that. And, um... Yeah. Dude is not overweight. <laughs> Anyways, um Yeah, so uh I I'm I'm very confident that his girlfriend like like did this because he like he was like very ups I can't believe he was so he was so impacted by someone making a video calling out his stu his stupid shit that instead of being a man and you know, trying to handle it. He just decided to resort to uh, this because I guess he has no. I guess he has no ability to defend himself. And so yeah, uh, terrorist. Plus his videos are terrible. Also, he made a new NAS He made a new uh, YouTube account. He's trying to hide the fact that he did this, but he did this. He made a new U he made a U a new YouTube channel just to post these videos now. So, this is his channel. You can tell it's his voice. Which, you know, I appreciate that he's resorting it to a new Oh, wait a minute. No, never mind. He's putting it on his channel again. Never mind. I was wrong. He's still doing it on his channel. Except he made a new channel so that he can double his profits. Great. Where's the great Mike Jones? Uh, if he was on here, he would be... Um, let's just put this as neutral. He, he would not, he would be a neutral. I don't know enough about him. Um. Actually, no, this is... So there we go. So we got, this is, so the best solid, this is basically neutral. Eh. And terrorist in the NASCAR YouTube community. All right, let's go through all of them real quick. NASCAR ACS, they don't hurt nobody. I've always been a fan of his. I forget what his name is. He's a big Jeff Gordon fan. Uh, they have to have over a 1,000 uh, YouTube subscribers. I'm also going to throw... Ah, oh, shit. I don't have... I have to throw me and Murph on here. And I'll be, I'll be very, I'll be very honest with him and myself. Gary Owen, he would be neutral. I just, I just don't. I, I can throw him on there, yeah. Let me go find the great Mike Jones. Okay. We can throw all these guys on here. There we go. Did Murph make the list? Yes, he's right here. Uh, back flags matter. He is not worse than MMCS, but he is not really good. Do you have Mike uh, Leifler? Yes, he is Speed Station. Where's he at? Speed Station. Speed Station. Speed Station. There he is. He's right here. Speed Station. Um. Uh, I don't think I need to explain any more than I need to. Um. It's the whole... Oh my god. There is a... Th <laughs> it's the whole... His whole... Okay, he would not be down here if he just was not a big baby. <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Anytime he gets called out on something, he acts like a child and just does not admit fault. Literally, during the whole uh, uh, plagiarism thing, he got called out for it and then was like... Wow, y'all are reaching, stuff like that. He acted like a big baby about it instead of just admitting fault. And if he had just done that, I would have no problem with him. But the fact that he just goes on... You know what, actually? Plagiarism! You do not know about this, Simba? Darian blatantly plagiarizes, like, half of his videos. 
and there's like video there is videos on YouTube about it. <laughs> Literally, there is a whole 30-minute video about him just showing him plagiarizing. Here it is. This is a whole 25-minute video of him plagiarizing. This ultimate 99 dragon. I'm sure, hang on, if we go to, shout out to No Context NASCAR. If we go to No Context Matter, oh, he's making a video. Uh, let's go ahead and find an example. I'm sure if we just scroll down a little bit, we can find it. Here we go. Length and once stood south of Wilshire Boulevard and above what is today Olympic Boulevard between Beverly Drive to the east and Lasky to the west. You can tell he's just reading this like very slowly so then he doesn't fuck up his words. You, you can you can very much tell and is also the first track in the United States to be designed with bank turns that incorporated an engineering solution known as spiral easement who I'm just uh, this is just I'm just asking y'all guys what what person who's watching this video would know what spiral easement is seriously I'm I'm just asking, does anyone here know what spiral easement is? <laughs> exactly. No one know why would you say this? Hi Flo. Add NASCAR extra to the list. Well NASCAR extra is a pedophile, so they don't deserve to be on this list. Or they're a groomer or whatever. That is that is Noah Flockton, by the way, in case people didn't know. Is Ultimate Twenty Three in the list? Uh, does Ultimate Twenty Three Dragon have more than a thousand subscribers? Oh yeah. Okay, we'll throw her on there. Okay, let's just keep going through these guys. I'm going to put him in eh because I don't think he's realistically a terrorist. But, like, man, we're going to slander every NASCAR channel today. Well, personally, if, if you're if you're down here, you probably shouldn't give two shits about what I say personally. If you watch this and you actually care about what I say every, if you're in this c category... Uh, then I think you need to rethink yourself and realize that people like me really don't matter in the grand scheme of your life, personally speaking. Oh, DJ EJ, yeah, he, he should definitely be on here. He, he is goaded. He's going to go up on the top. Okay, Brockbeard, top. Uh, they, uh, Cody doesn't hurt anybody. Actually, let's, let's, let's give, let's give opinions on these guys. Why not? Oh, it's six o'clock already. Uh, yeah, Aflac, I, I grew up watching. Oh, Windvow. Yes, we need Windvow in here. Of course we need Windvow in here. God, he'd be, oh my God. Of course we need, of course we need Windvow on here. What the fuck? Top tier. The. The bat. I mean, he's going up here already. I don't. I don't even need to do the rest of the tier list. Winvow is hilarious. Elite Productions. I don't watch him enough, so I'm not gonna put him on. Actually, if I don't watch them, on, if I don't watch them enough, I'm not gonna put them on this tier list. D Good in Twenty Four. I don't watch him enough. DLB TV, his voice is annoying, but I don't watch him enough. So we're going to put the people I don't know in here. Um, 
I don't know who this is. Uh, man, this is familiar, but I don't know the name. Um, okay, I am putting them on here if I just do not know enough about them. Okay, if I don't know enough about them, they're not on here, okay? Yeah, same here, I don't know NBR enough. Um, DDH88, uh, no clue. Yeah, I don't know him. Uh, is there anyone here I don't know? Uh, this guy does great stop motion. I don't know Monkey Ball for you. I guess I don't. Shieldhouse. Shieldhouse doesn't upload enough to be considered that. Incarnation doesn't either, so... <sighs> How many watch NBR? Here we go. See, I knew this was going to happen. Yes, I know it's nothing. I know that's him with the... Yeah, that's why... I, that's why I didn't take him off. Um, okay, let's go one by one. These are all the people that... Uh, Uh, yeah, he's, he's fine. I'd put him in solid, actually. I think he does a really good job. Uh, let's just put the guy, I, I, th I don't think I need to explain why Brock Beard is in the S tier, or the best tier. I don't think I need to explain that. Um, I think Danny B Talks is the best out of, um, the, uh, the weekly podcast group besides Estep. Um... His videos are very solid. Like, he actually puts effort into it. So, and I'll go ahead and put E-Step here, because I don't... <laughs> E-Step does a really good job of what he does. I like what he does. He does a solid job. Ah, uh, David Land, he doesn't hurt anybody. Uh, I just don't care about Denny Delivers. I just don't care. How the fuck don't you have E-Step on best? Because for you to be on the best, you got to produce, like, the best content. And, and that's, personally, that's just not Eric. He just he just does, like, recap videos. He doesn't do anything that's, like, personally exciting to me. Uh, Elio's up here, obviously. Um, uh, drive through doesn't hurt anybody. Nis Nixon goes up there. Griff Dog is solid. This was NASCAR Asian. They're solid. IDK player, a god. Uh you see, you gotta you gotta do a lot to be on the terrorist list, man. It's nothing. He's solid. Put him up here. I can tell. I can tell he puts a lot of effort into his videos. Baskinger, nothing wrong with him. MDK puts a good amount of effort into his videos. Uh, I actually don't know enough about Joe Rutt. I know he just does NR2003 videos. KG, I like I like KG. Um, I'll put him here though. I'll put Michael up there. NASCAR man history goes up there. Terrorist. Um. Uh, they don't hurt nobody. Same with Raw Gator. They don't hurt nobody. Eh. I mean, he's better than these two. 
I'll provide context once I get done here. Slap, best of the best. Ed, uh, they don't hurt nobody. Mark, he's great. Uh, Iceberg doesn't hurt anybody. Great, uh, great, probably top. Even though they don't make, they don't make, I'll put solid. What if solid as well? Um. Eh, eh. Solid up here. Solid. That's what I did before. We're going to do it again, of course. Me, of course. I go up there. Um, I, I, I don't. He goes. I, I don't know. Eh. Twisted toe is funny. I, I, they're, they're, they're hilarious. They don't hurt nobody. And uh, they're solid. Okay, let's organize these. I didn't give the context like I was going to, but I didn't. Uh, I was I was going to, but I didn't. Um. Honestly, I'm gonna put Mike Jones down here. Same thing with Gary Owen. Um. Okay. So. Best of the the best NASCAR YouTuber is Slap. Um, <laughs> second best is oh man. Uh, let's go L. Let's go Winval. We'll go Ellie, and then we'll go these two, and then Nixon's back there. So these are the best NASCAR YouTubers that you can that you can watch right now. Slap, Winvow, Ellie, uh, Brock Beard. Yeah, exactly. David Land doesn't do he doesn't really do NASCAR videos as to why I put him here. Okay, so let's do solid. Uh, what if would go up here? He's nearly on the top, yeah, I'd say that. Um Um God. Let's go to the bottom first. So MMCS is on the bottom, NRF is then next. Uh then definitely IDK player, but he's not he's not a terrorist. He's just He's just annoying. <laughs> He does a great job with NR NR Night in America. I think he does a fantastic job with that, but man, he's just a no he's way too loud. That's my thing with him. He's way too loud. Like he needs to lower the volume of his streams by maybe th five decibels and it's perfect. Tobychristum.com. I do not watch them enough. I saw them comment on the tier list. Um Um, I already went over Darian. I just don't. I mean, he. he I mean, he's harmless. Radman. I just don't. I just don't. I just don't. I don't. Um. I I don't get it. I don't understand his style. I guess. Fireball Hamlet. I've not. Um. Ultimate 23 Dragon, the whole Twitter thing. That's basically why she's here. Um, I mean, you're allowed to have your own opinions, but there's a point where you need to, like, not give in to people. She get she gives in to people's bait very easily. No, I'm only, I'm only putting in people that were on this tier list. Okay, let's do this tier. Oh, God. Who's the least harmless? Like, who... Who almost does damage but doesn't? 
he definitely, yeah. Iceberg 2, yeah. Uh, let's just put the NASCAR compilation YouTubers down here. Because they don't really, you know... You know, they don't really... I mean, Raw Gator's definitely the best out of those guys. Um... Yeah, he's def he's definitely the best out of all the compilation guys. Uh, drive through goes he. I just don't have a strong opinion on drive through. I wasn't really a big fan whenever he do the clown reel. Uh, I personally think that was the reason why the core kind of fell apart. Is because they do the clown reel, and that wouldn't really help relations between people who were pissed. It just like I under the I understand the point was to make it better, but it I it I it ironically. Moonhead has to yeah, Moonhead definitely has to be on here. Yeah, definitely. I think, I think Davin, like it, it had an opposite effect of what he was trying to do. Um, I have forty wins. I um I don't know enough. I watched one of his videos and I was just not I was not crazy about it. He does a great job. I I'll, I'll definitely he definitely puts in a lot of effort. I just don't I don't his voice just doesn't excite me. Like he doesn't He kind of sounds like Darian in that in that sense. I left a comment on some 40. I did see that, JC. I watched that. We uh, I tuned into that a little bit earlier. Oh, yeah, JC, you need to go on here. Yeah, that's someone else we can put on here. Just Liam, don't know him enough. How many subscribers do you have to have? Have to, have to have at least 1,000. I'm doing 1,000 to put on here. What the hell was that monkey we just saw? What the fuck? JC's solid. I don't know dog like media, so. Uh, I'm just gonna put. Um. Okay. So this tier li This looks fine. Ugh. You know what? No, Radman. Radman. Radman's just there. Radman doesn't hurt anybody, but I just don't. I just don't. I'm not particularly, in particular, a fan. KD's KG. Yeah, KG is like down here. Yeah. It's KG's mouth that kind of puts him down here. I mean, I personally like him more than the Iceberg. I like him more than these guys. I mean, this should be this should probably be a neutral, a neutral category. Not they don't hurt nobody, because then people will be like, "Well, KG did this, or David Land said this, or Jake Baskinger said this." That's not that's not the point of the category, but I I get where the confusion comes from. Exactly, I need ML uh, Milkster. That that's that's like my exact point. I've never watched a video of his where he just isn't complaining. He's kind of like Austin Oganowski in that point. He only makes videos of him complaining. Um, which by the way, I'm going to reiterate once again, if I am, if, if you have more subscribers than me and I'm talking about you, please, please don't like, you, you shouldn't care about what I'm saying. Seriously, you shouldn't care about what I'm saying. 
He just does sim racing times. Well, he used to be someone that would just he would just nonstop like video after video would just be, you know, rant after rant. Like he got banned on iRacing for being he got banned on iRacing for being so toxic. That that kind of says for itself. Racing Forever Live don't know him enough. Um, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna put him there. I think KG K KG is is the is the pinnacle of neutrality because I love Dylan to death but some there's some things I just don't we just don't agree on like there's some things that he says I'm like uh but then he also has he also does a really good job at what he does I think he's a really good YouTuber but what he's it just kind of it just kind of it just kind of you know it it balances itself out. Like I love, I love Dylan. I think Dylan's a great guy. If you didn't know already, KG, I offered KG to join. I off, I offered a uh, KG to join for shit cup commentary. There is no negativity between me and him whatsoever. Um, it's just in terms of a community. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do this in like a community standing kind of thing as well it's like it's like a mix of them as a youtuber and then them as a person that's kind of what i'm and actually in that respect kg has been nothing but nice to me so you have an issue with idk player michael bruce is kind of like well that's why michael is down here <laughs> The thing about Michael, and I have told Michael this before, and he totally respects it. And keep in mind, I am a I am a Discord moderator for him. I helped him with his server. I helped him with everything. I talk to him quite often. Me and him talk at least once a week, me and Michael. And I have made it known to him before we even really became friends, is that I just am not a fan of his video style. Have you heard of the content from the Farm Channel NASCAR Moments? That is MMCS, if you did not know. That's MMCS again. Michael's videos are just really loud. <laughs> I wouldn't say they're obnoxious because, on well, I'm... Yeah, I need a mil milkster. That's definitely, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um... He made a second channel. Yes, he did. Like, I love Michael to uh, to death. But I love him more on his live streams than I do his videos. Because I actually see the real person there. Because, honest, he's just he's just playing characters in his videos. And his characters are just, eh. But, obviously, he, he, you know, people like his videos. And I'm not, you know. And that's fine. Um, I've told him this beforehand. His videos are kind of fake. I mean, sometime. I mean, uh, during his live streams, he definitely like milks the finish because there's been some video. There's been some races that he does where like it's obvious he's gonna win, but then he kind of milks it till the last lap. Which I mean, that's that. I mean, that's okay. I mean, you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. But uh, he's he doesn't hurt anybody. That's the thing. Michael doesn't. Michael doesn't actively like hurt anybody in the NASCAR community. He's just he's just really chill. Like during his live streams, he's he's in, insanely fun to talk to. He's insanely fun to talk to off stream as well. I've had conversa I've I've voice voice called I've voice called him twice. And each time it's, we talked for at least 2 hours. So yeah, Michael. Michael's solid. His videos being fake is realistic because real NASCAR is also fake. You know what? You know what, JC? You got a point. You got a really good point. Okay, so I think I think this row is done. I just don't. 
NFJJ, he's just he's just neutral. I haven't watched enough of his stuff to like really put him up anymore. And the videos that I did watch, they were they were okay. Soundhead doesn't upload much anymore. It's nothing as solid. I I like watching his uh uh last year videos. It's unfortunate. He puts a real he puts a good amount of effort into them and they don't get as many views. I wish he keeps I, I want him to keep doing them though cuz I think it's, if he just keeps doing them they'll, they'll do really good. Okay, uh solid tier. I think DJ EJ goes here. Then what if um uh, let's put some people up here. Let's put Grip Dog up here. Um. Um. I think that is it. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Mark up here. The guy called I have forty wins. Like I said earlier, I haven't watched enough of his videos to put him on here. But like I said, like I said earlier, are you going to do Richmond? Probably not. I, I don't know if we're going to do... No, Richmond's not really a good track for NR. It's hard to find a good Richmond. Um. Yeah, I mean, this is probably the best that we can do. Yeah, let's take a screenshot of this. And we'll put it on the Twitter, and then I'll get ratioed by one of the creators. Probably MMC, as if we had to guess. Um... There we go. Mike Leifer, or Mark Leifer. Yeah, that's Speed Station. That's him right here. Hang on, what was the name of my tweet the other day? What did it say? All right, here we go. Posted. All right, let's go grab that. There we go. I think MMCS's girlfriend posting this comment under one of my videos suffices his ranking. And then let me go link the video. There we go. Wait a minute. Why are you guys spamming LMCS? Don't do that. No, bad. No, you're just going to bait him into responding. No. 
That wasn't the point. God. Because then he'll just send another stupid response, guys. What the hell? Oh, boy. Well, here we are. That's the NASCAR YouTuber tier list. Um, if they weren't included, I don't know enough about them. Which means, don't, don't kill my family in their sleep, please. Also, don't, don't, uh, don't wish for me to commit suicide. Don't do that, too. That's not really a cool thing to do. I'll say, let me rename the former shit cup driver role real quick. Oh, God. Uh, D. Good in 24. I like his content, but man, he needs to get rid of his intro. If he just got rid of his intro, that's like 10 seconds, 5, 10 seconds long. He, his, 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 um, his watch time would go up significantly. I'm not going to put Magnum 05 or jo Joseph on here. They don't... Man, I like I like Zach, but... Man, I hate that all that happened. I still have a... Little story. Um, I, at one point, was a moderator on Joseph's YouTube... On Joseph's Twitch account. And he gave all of his moderators shirts... So I still have that shirt. And then they kicked me out of moderator like a week after because they realized, oh, wait, this guy's like 13. <laughs> yes, I still have the mod shirt. I was only a moderator for a week, but hey, that's that's beside the point. Show us? Okay, I'll go grab it. Give me a minute. It's still here. Oh boy. Oh boy. It is it is this is a uh, a NASCAR YouTuber I mean this is this is a piece of NASCAR YouTuber history right here. It's a very uncomfortable shirt. Yes it is. It is very tight. It hasn't been washed because I don't think I don't have a need to wash it. Microphone right here. Uh, hang on. Eh. Calm down, microphone. There we go. Okay. Uh, here it is. Look at that. If I can show it the right way. Yep. 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 Do not worry. Do not worry, ladies and gentlemen. I did not follow in his footsteps. Took a screenshot. What are you? No, no, no. What are you doing? Don't do that to me. I am not supporting what the fucking did. This is outrageous. Oh boy. That was the logo on Ryan Zeke's guard. Yep, it was, it was, it was. It was, it was, it was. Okay, uh, we've gotten to the point where uh, it is time for me to eat dinner. But, um. 
Oh god, what can we do? Oh, they're doing the NGS race right now. Um Why don't you have a seat? What? 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 Okay, uh, um... Magma dudes, that is very true. God. Anyways, yep, um... Hang on one sec. Have you heard they might lose they might have Cody lose again? That is that's not gonna happen. That is not gonna happen. And you know who probably said that? Mr. Dave Meltzer. Um Anyways, um I mean, is there anything else we could do here today? I don't think so. I think we're done here today. Uh, I'm going to play some GTA, though. Um, Roblox? I can't play Roblox! Um, I need better internet to play Roblox. It just doesn't work. Like, seriously, the only games on Roblox I play are with, um, are with Bree. Um, sorry, I'm reading Discord stuff. Suboptimal. Yeah. Uh, is anyone here? I'll 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 be streaming. I guess I'll, I guess I'll stream GTA in the Discord. Uh, I do got to eat dinner though, so yeah, I'll stream. Uh, I'll just stream some GTA. Why not? Um, what's your favorite GTA mission? Uh, I don't know. I don't know where what right now it would, it would be, but you know. Oh, um, the new South Park game came out. Um. Uh, here, I'll show it. Uh, what, right here? Nope, wrong one. Uh, we'll just show Steam. Steam, there we are. That's not Steam. Okay, let's just show the display capture. Nope, that's the wrong one. Ooh, yeah, that one. Okay, ooh, boom, there we go. Yeah, the new, um... The new uh, game came out. Um, let's these reviews, man. These are brutal. Look at these reviews. Let's turn the chat box off so you guys can see it. Fifty nine percent. God. Who are these organizations? Who's gamer gamers RD? Wait for a deep deep sale. Finish the game in 4 hours. Wait for the game to be on sale, otherwise don't buy. Fun game just don't doesn't have all that much for the price. Thank you, Jeremy Isley, by the way, for the two dollars. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. And Kuma bought me the game uh for my birthday, so I kinda feel bad. But what you gonna do about it? 
Um, okay, well, thank you all so much for joining in. I know y'all are not used to seeing me as much, but don't worry, I will... I will be tuning in more, it's just... School is, is a pain in the ass, so... Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna go join the, uh, the Discord. Your mom bought you 21. God. That's why, that's why I tell my parents. I give them hints at what to buy me. I don't tell them to say... I mean, I tell them to surprise me, but... <laughs> I, t I always tell them not to get something in particular. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. You guys have yourselves a fantastic night. Uh, the Wikipedia jokes on Darian's tweets try so hard to miss half the time. I mean... I mean... JC, it's kind of hard not to, you know... Like... It's kind of hard not to, you know... Not to respond in that way, but to, like, point out the fact that he obviously plagiarizes. And it's the fact he just doesn't admit it. That that's what the that's what really bothers people. Cause and I saw JC that your point is that everyone else does it, but that's just no one else does it to the point where he, where he does it. He literally he literally quotes things verbatim most of the time, and then and then uses thesaurus to change words around. And the way he delivers it acts like he just doesn't even. It, it sounds like he doesn't even care what he's reading. That's what really bothers people. It's the fact he just doesn't... It's just... Yes, other people do it, but they also don't... They also don't pretend like they're not doing it at the same time. Like, I'm sure if... if I'm sure I am quite confident that if someone called out Iceberg for the same thing and, like, you know, posted similar stuff... He'd, he'd be the first one to admit, yeah, I, I did, you, you got a point, but I don't think he does, because whenever Iceberg does videos, it's it's usually opinion-based. Does that hurt the narrative? Yes. Um, because his videos sometimes feel off-balanced. But, that's just me, I just don't... It's just the fact he just doesn't own up to what he's doing. And it hurt, and from from this, it really bothers me, JC, because he is supposed to be a a prominent journalism figure in the NASCAR in the NASCAR scene. He's supposed to be a prominent figure, yet he he does like he he reacts in this way. It wouldn't matter if he just put domains in his description. Is this way? Well, yeah, but he should also, you know, mention his sources. It 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 would matter if he put the domain in the description because he doesn't he doesn't show his sources. Every other like whenever when I watched the iceberg video, he puts image and video credits, but not Well, yeah, he should put he should put all of them. And then when you look at when you look at Iceberg, whenever Iceberg does his videos, he says according to this website or something. If he just did something like that, that would suffice. Just say uh, according to and don't say Wikipedia. Say according to the L.A. Times. Blah 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 blah. blah. Just something like that. It's not especially for quoting like a big news article. It's just. It's not it, it's it's a it's a standard in in journalism. So Yeah, anyways, I'm going to go stream GTA. Uh y'all have uh y'all have yourselves a good one. I'm going to go eat lasagna too. So I'm going to go stuff my face. And uh yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Shit Cup is back. Hope you guys are excited. Uh Yeah. Um Get out of here. Yeah, get get the fuck out.